All right, welcome back to the channel. My long quest to find the best foam and the best foam cannon has led me to the Griot's Garage, the Boss Foam Cannon. Now, Griot's Garage, the Boss Foam Cannon. I'll tell you what, when I first took a look at it, I thought to myself, man, this thing has got some real potential. Now it was viewer recommended. You guys know who you are. And I'll tell you what, after you recommended it, I did my research. I looked at it and went, wow, this thing's amazing. It's got to come into the shop and get looked at. Let's open it up and take a peek. All right, so my first impressions. It's a nice looking piece of equipment. Solid, well built. Let's start by looking at the bottle. Again, real strong plastic, man. I, Squeeze it as hard as I can, you're not gonna hurt it. And dropping it, not gonna hurt it either. And one thing I like about it that I noticed right away, and this is important, I've been expecting this out of all the modern foam cannons, it's gotta have that big wide base on it so that it's not top heavy. We don't want it toppling over and spilling product everywhere, that, that's not a good thing. All right, and another cool thing, on the top, look at the size of this neck. Big, wide open neck, easy to pour the product in and easy to pour the product out. So when we're rinsing it, we fill it, dump it, fill it, dump it. It's not that narrow neck, what you know, where it's la 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 la. That's a pain. I want to dump it right out immediately. So bottle, A plus on the bottle right away. Now let's make our way up and look at the rest of the foam cannon. The first thing that catches my eye, man, look at that build quality. That's all stainless steel from the stainless steel quick disconnect all the way through the body, all the way through the piece of equipment. Every bit of it that you can see that's metal is highly uh, machined, high quality. It's even got the Griot's logo on there. Man, that looks amazing. Let's work our way up to the adjustment valve. Man, it feels butter smooth, easy to turn. No resistance whatsoever. Then we get to the uh, control of the, f the width of the fan. So easy to turn, I can do it with one hand. Now look, we want it to go all the way closed, all the way open with little to no effort, and it does that. Now let's take a look at that plastic uh, cap. Really solid plastic. We don't have to worry about that breaking, busting, anything like that. Big, nice threads, which means it's gonna go onto the bottle easy and come off of the bottle easy. Now we're all looking like, what is this little inside threaded area? I'm gonna explain that to you in a minute. That's a really neat feature. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to check this out. All right, now we look at the silicone hose. Really bendable, really pliable. That's gonna last a real long time with no problems. On the bottom, we got this, uh, stainless steel marble with the hole in the middle. What that does is no matter which way we turn the foam cannon, it's gonna point at the bottom and it's gonna help draw all that um, soap right out of the bottle, right to the last drop. So that's really neat. Okay, so now let's talk about what is that threaded area for? That's for screwing directly on top of the Griot's Garage product line and it enables us to shoot the foam on the vehicle without any mixing. But there's another piece to this puzzle. So. In the directions, it's, it comes with three different tips, but the one that's for me is the purple. Now this is what the tips look like. Now the purple tip is anywhere from 1100 PSI up to 2200 PSI, and that's about where the Krenzla falls. Now what we do with this tip is it goes right into the end here. So there's the ball bearing. We put the tip directly in the end. Now what we have is a self-metering foam cannon. So now that we got the tip in for the right pressure washer, and if you have a gas pressure washer or something else, there's other tips in here and in the directions it states exactly which ones to use. Now we just put it directly down into the bottle, screw it right on, and man, we are ready to go that easy, man. You gotta admit, that is really cool. So we just hook the pressure washer up and boom, it's gonna meter the exact amount that Griot's recommends. Now, is that the right amount for us? I don't know, but I'll tell you what, when we try it, I'm gonna call it out if it's not. <laughs> so that's one way to do it for sure. The other way is to do a pre-mix right into the bottle like we've always done. Now today, we're gonna just do a half a bottle of water and one 
ounce into the, uh, into the bottle because I don't want to waste it. I'm just going to do the side of the truck. So we'll do half water, one ounce into the uh, bottle, and then we'll try both ways. Man, this is really neat. I'm excited about this. Uh, and we'll see which one works better or different or if it's easier or not easier. Another thing, like, is it going to waste product? Is it going to be the right amount of product? We're going to figure all that stuff out here in a minute. So let's get it mixed up. Let's get out there and put it on the truck because all this fancy stuff and beautiful machine work doesn't matter if it doesn't make good foam. So let's do it. Yeah. All right. So here's the first go with the automated mixing, which you just put the bottle on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Let's give it a try. Wow, that works pretty amazing, man, for no effort whatsoever and a perfect mix. And wow, that foam is thick and slick. And it smells good too, man. This uh, Griot's Garage Foaming Surface Wash has got that good coconut smell. I really like it. Wow, man, that works really easy. I gotta say they did a good job with that. That's cool. All right, so that first method works so good, man. It's gonna be really hard to imagine this being better, but you know, some people like to do it traditionally, so we'll do that. And let's see how it goes. All right, so that went on nice. Right off the bat, man, I have to say that my one ounce per half of foam cannon is obviously less soap. So my gut tells me that with the metering method, it's drawing more soap out of the bottle. So, you know, with that being said, I feel like that you can definitely be more, you know, conscious of how much uh, soap you're using by mixing it yourself. But man, this went on really good too. And the Griots is such a good product. It's slick, smells unbelievable. I like it. All right, so what did I think about the Griot's Garage, the Boss Foam Cannon? I'll tell you what, this thing exceeded my expectations on all fronts. It looks amazing, the build quality is insane, it worked awesome on the truck. Let's first uh, take a quick recap when we mixed it up ourselves, how did that look? I'll tell you what, it went on a little bit thin, it smelled good, the cleaning power is great, but it was a little thin. All right, now let's take a look at the Griot's Garage metered method. Man, I'll tell you what, that went on thick. That tells me right away that the metering method is gonna use a little bit more soap than our typical two ounces per foam cannon, but that's all right because I'll tell you what, the foam was great. Good quality, good smell, slickness on the paint was awesome, and something I thought of right away, man, you know, it's great. We can use the Griot's Garage Foaming Surface Wash, but can we use it with other soaps? Let's give it a try with the almighty Adam's Megaphone. <laughs> Let's see if it fits this bottle. This is kind of important because we don't want to be locked into using any one product. All right, we'll wipe that down and let's see if it fits into the Adam's Megaphone. Oh, wow, it screws right on there. Perfect, look at that. And I'll tell you what, man, that tells me now we can use any product we want as long as it has that industry standard, you know, screw top on it. And worst case scenario, what we would have to do is just kind of pre-fill some bottles so that we can just quickly put them on here and go to work with any type of soap that we want to use. That's cool. We're not locked into just using griots, even though it is a good product. All right. So that, that solves that problem, man. Overall, I give this whole thing an A+. Plus. And man, I reserve that because, you know, there's always something about each cannon, you know? And I have to say, they put the effort into the machine work. It's all stainless. Everything turns like butter, works super smooth, did a great job with the fan. It was consistent. It was nice. Um, all in all, it was awesome. All right, so I got a question. Do you want to see, this was just a general quick review of the Griot's The Boss Foam Cannon, but man, I think it's good enough that we should put it up against the MJJC. The winner, the all-time winner of all the different foam challenges I've done has been the MJJC Foam Cannon, and that's this one right here. This thing works amazing, so I'd like to put it up against that, and why not bring in Old Faithful while we're at it? Bring in the MTM 
PF22. Let's see what will happen. What do you guys think? If you want to see that challenge, let me know down in the comments and I'll run them all side by side and we'll see which one works the best, best build quality, and all in all, the better foam cannon. If you haven't subscribed, consider hitting the button down there and join me because I got a lot of neat stuff over here that I'm putting together. Man, you're not gonna wanna miss it. But that's all I have to say about the Griot's The Boss Foam Cannon. It's amazing. Oh man, that's some good stuff right there. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.